Well, the holiday rush is already in full swing. Whether you're shopping or planning a road trip, the weather could impact your plans. We're tracking some warmer air and some rain. Meteorologist Katie Fallinger is live outside on the CBS3 Sky Deck with a look at what we can expect today. Katie. Yeah, you know, Jim, for the rest of the day, the warmth is not necessarily the story, nor is the rain just yet. With time, that will become more of an issue, especially into the upcoming holiday weekend. But for now, savor the sunshine while you've got it. Granted, it is a very short day. Just within the hour, the winter solstice took place, so we are in the midst of the shortest amount of daylight that we'll find all year long. A whopping nine hours and change is all we're really going to enjoy here, but at least it's quiet, and that is going to be about the quietest day that we have of this next seven day because we've got some activity going on here. Lots of swings on the thermometer, not to mention multiple systems moving through, but let me just show you what's happening locally at the, the current time frame where there's really not too much out here except for blue sky, sunshine, and sun glare as a result. If you are traveling, remember that sun angle is still off low on this particular day of the year and at just this time of year. So uh, you're going to need a pair of shades for sure. Meanwhile, the temperatures tell the story. It is cold outside. Thankfully, we don't have to factor in too much of a wind chill, but uh, it's cold. You know, when you're still only in the 30s, even at high noon here in the city, it's much more typical for late December, only at 39 currently, but I expect that we'll probably rebound maybe another five degrees before it's all said and done. So 44 is the call for the daytime high at the airport and uh, in the sunshine across the entire region. Mid 30s at best though up in the mountains. So quite the chill up that way too, where they continue to have ample cold to make some snow. Now, eventually we hit Christmas and eventually we see the possibility of some white oh, stuff coming on through here. It actually may end up being that luck is more on our side if you are dreaming of a white Christmas, because even though our percentage chance is pretty slim from I-95 on south and east, there's also at this point what looks to be a new storm system developing by Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. So there may be some snow to track and we're going to talk about the potential for this a little later in the show and also Saturday's a busy travel day. Some wet weather moving in then we will time everything out a little later in the show and I'll have your holiday travel forecast then as well.